Episode 2 The First Star and the Star Children In the aftermath of the Big Bang, the universe was born in fire, its earliest moments filled with unimaginable energy, heat and light. From that cosmic storm, the first elements emerged, hydrogen, helium and lithium, the prime elements, drifting through the cold darkness, their existence a spark of creation in an otherwise empty expanse. But the story of the universe was far from complete, for within that vast void something began to stir. The young universe, still growing, still shaping itself, craved more than just isolated fragments of matter. It yearned for complexity, for life, for the seeds of something greater. And so, within the heart of space, the prime elements felt the pull of a new force. A force that would bring them together and give birth to the first of many stars. In the cold darkness, hydrogen gathered, billions upon billions of atoms drawn to one another by the unseen hand of gravity. Slowly but surely, they coalesced, pulled tighter and tighter until, at the heart of this great cloud of matter, a transformation began. Fusion, the ancient dance of creation, the very process that would give birth to stars, planets and life itself. In that moment, the atoms of hydrogen fused, releasing an immense burst of energy. And in an instant, the darkness was banished, replaced by a brilliant glowing light. The first star was born, its light spread across the void, filling the empty universe with warmth and illumination. But within the star's core, something even more miraculous was taking place. For this was no ordinary star. This was the cradle of life, the furnace of creation, where new elements would emerge, each one destined to play its part in the unfolding story of the cosmos. In the heart of the first star, new elements began to form, each one unique, each one carrying the potential to shape the universe. The first to emerge was carbon. He was versatile, adaptable and creative, a master of connections, able to bind with others to form the very building blocks of life. To carbon, the universe was a puzzle, one that he sought to solve with his endless ability to bond, link and create. Next came oxygen, fiery and fierce, her energy both life-giving and destructive. She was the breath of the cosmos, the spark that could ignite both creation and chaos. Her presence was vital, for with her came the promise of life and the potential for destruction. Then there was nitrogen, quiet, calm and ever-present. He was the silent force that stabilized the universe, a being whose importance would often be overlooked but whose influence was everywhere. Nitrogen was the foundation, the unseen strength that held everything together, ensuring balance amidst the chaos. These were the star children, the first of many elements to be born in the heart of a star. Together they would shape worlds, build galaxies and bring life to the cold emptiness of space. As the first star burned, more and more elements emerged from its core. Iron, strong and enduring, forged in the furnace of the star's intense heat, took shape as a warrior, his destiny tied to the strength and structure of planets and stars alike. Neon, a silent observer, glowed softly in the background, his noble nature keeping him distant from the conflicts to come, but his beauty and presence undeniable. But as more elements emerged, so too did the first signs of conflict. For with the birth of new matter came a divergence in purpose, a clash of temperaments that would soon shatter the fragile harmony of the first star. Carbon, ever creative, saw the endless potential in the universe. He wished to reach out, to bond with others, to create new forms, new possibilities. But Oxygen, with her fiery spirit, saw things differently. To her, creation required destruction. The old must be burned away for the new to rise, and Nitrogen, ever the stabilizer, sought balance. Though he knew that in the face of such opposing forces, balance would be hard to maintain. The tension between them grew. Hydrogen, still watching from afar, felt a stirring deep within him. 
He knew that the universe needed balance, a harmony that could only be achieved if the elements could work together. But the first star was young, and its children were not yet wise enough to see the greater picture. And so, the star children began to clash. Carbon, seeking to create intricate bonds, reached out to oxygen, hoping to form something new. But oxygen's fiery nature resisted, her destructive energy threatening to consume him. Their struggle shook the core of the first star, and Nitrogen, seeing the danger, attempted to intervene, his stabilizing influence barely enough to keep the conflict at bay, but the first star could feel the strain. The energies of creation and destruction of stability and chaos began to pull at its core. The balance it had once maintained was now faltering, and deep within something far more dangerous was building. As the Star Children's conflict reached its peak, the first star began to collapse under the pressure. The forces of fusion, once harmonious, now spiraled out of control. The core of the star, unable to contain the opposing energies, began to implode, its outer layers swelling, trembling with the force of the impending explosion. Hydrogen, watching from the fringes of the star's heart, could feel the end coming. He tried to call out to his siblings to warn them of the impending disaster, but it was too late. The first star, unable to withstand the conflict within, erupted in a titanic explosion, a supernova the first of its kind. Its brilliance lit up the universe, scattering the elements far and wide, flinging them to the furthest reaches of space. In an instant, the universe changed. The star children, once bound together in the heart of the first star, were now separated, cast out into the cosmos to find their own paths. Carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and the others, each sent to different corners of the universe, each now alone in their journey. But in the wake of the supernova, something new began to form. The scattered elements found new homes in the elemental realms, kingdoms that would one day rise to power, each shaped by the forces that had birthed them. The first of many stars had died, but in its death, it had given birth to something even greater, a universe filled with potential, with creation and with conflict. And so the first star faded, its light no longer visible in the cosmos, but its legacy remained, carried by the elements it had birthed the star children who would one day shape the fate of the universe. The journey of the elements had only just begun, and as they drifted through space, each would discover their own purpose, their own power. For in the far reaches of the universe, new stars were forming, new realms were rising, and the elements were preparing for the battles that lay ahead. But even now, in the aftermath of the supernova, a greater force was stirring one that would challenge the very foundations of the universe. And at the center of it all, hydrogen, the first element, felt a call, a pull towards something greater, something that could change the fate of all the elements forever. This is the story of the elements, a story of creation and conflict, of unity and division. And though the first star has fallen, the journey is far from over. Join us next time as we explore the rise of the elemental realms and the forces that will shape the fate of the universe.